Hey everybody. So um, I've been promising this for a while now and I want to uh, definitely get this going for you. So this is uh, going to be how to set up a macro uh, variation on a texture. Um, just to show you what it looks like in the uh, when we're finished. It's basically this segment of code right here of Blueprint. If you can see without this, so if I change this color here up to white, let me see what the, the brick looks like here. You can see that's noticeably piling like crazy. Um, and then we take this and we can dial this in. Apply, you'll notice that it won't tile anymore or at least not nearly as noticeable. So it's basically this material that's getting multiplied over our brick, which helps. If we go down here, you can see it looks much less tiled. Um, it's a pretty basic setup, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna close this over here. And this is our just straight material. You'll see it's just This. this is just a basic material that you would normally have in Unreal. Um, color, roughness, normal, um, and an ambient occlusion. And it's got a texture coordinate going into all of the UVs for this. And this is how we can scale this texture. Um, so if I want it to be bigger, let's go like that. Very simple. Um, and texture coordinates, if you just type in text, Cord texture. It's right here. That's what the node looks like. And it's literally just a UNV tiling node. Uh, very simple. So, the first thing we want to do, um, we're going to cheat. Uh, this is really easy to do. So, we're going to go up to add and add feature and content pack. And this window will pop up here. We'll go to content pack and then starter content. We'll just add that to our project real quick. Let that load. And once that's loaded up, you'll see you've got this starter content directory somewhere right here. And in this, there's a, a materials. And in this materials, there's this M metal gold. So we're just going to double click on that and bring it up. And you'll see macro texture variation. So what we want to do is copy all of this and this multiply node down here. And we're just going to hit control C. And then we're going to go to our brick material, which is right here. Control V. And we've got a nice setup already made for us. So basically all we have to do now is pipe our color into this multiply node and put that down into our base color like so. And you're going to notice that this isn't going to work because if you notice, we've got this texture coordinate node here and each one of these has got a texture coordinate in it. So what we want to do is delete these and then just run this up to these multiply nodes. Let me do that again real quick just so I'm not confusing anybody. So we're going to delete these and then run this coordinate up here all three of these and this is so this setup knows the tiling of our texture and we're going to go over here to this this reduced macro contrast that's the color that i was editing so if i just go in here bring that down so it's dark you can see right away we've got this nice texture now, if you wanted to, you could change the size of this um, independent of your texture, but this normally works for me. If you wanted to do that, all you'd have to do is run a constant into these multiplies. Um, so a constant just like this into each one of these. And then if you change the number on these constants, um, you could change that tiling, uh, but we don't want to do that. And that's it. How simple is that? So now if we just save this. Go over 
over to our extras here. Call this street brick, which is right here. If I click and drag, you can see now it's a much bigger brick because I changed the UV coordinates, but you can see that texture variation in there. So this is very noticeable if you use a landscape um, setup. Uh, it's the same thing that you see in a lot of auto materials is this texture variation. Um, at any point in any of your materials, you can always just, the last step, so say if you have a very complex material, you just want to make sure the last step before you get to your base color that you run that in there. Um, and this is basically just for color. It's not for normal or anything like that because this is used for larger surfaces like the side of a building or, or something along those lines. Um, another quick tip that you can do, um, if I grab all of this, all this material, I just hit Control C, and then I go over to Notepad, and then paste this. This is a material. So if I save this as, we'll just say, Street Brick, and I'm just going to select all copy it. So let me close this real quick just so I can show you this. We'll save that. So now if I go make a new material and call this brick, clear that filter off. But I'll make a new material out here. Call it brick something. Now if I double click into this material, you can see this material is empty. But if I hit control V, there we go. There's your entire material set up. And this was from a notepad, a document. And I'm going to go ahead and save this text file and give it to you guys. Um, when you use this, you'll have to make sure your starter kit content is added. And then your base texture, these would all be broken because you don't have these textures for me. Um, you'd have to find a texture sample for each of these, uh, which you would do anyways um, in a typical uh, environment. So that's uh, pretty quick and easy, but super, super powerful. Once you do it once, you really don't have to mess with it again. Um, all my materials have this built into it. And it's super, super helpful. Um, and that's that. Uh, hope you guys learned something. Thanks.